Hi, I'm Rebecca Hillman. And I'm Javier Calvo. And you're welcome to this week's edition of Gate Update. On Monday, members of the Colgate community filled Donovan's Pub for a trivia fundraiser in support of Kevin Williams. Kevin, a Colgate senior who was diagnosed with brain cancer in December, is currently receiving treatment for the tumor in California. The trivia night raised $2,800 for Kevin. Students also had the opportunity to write letters that will be sent to him. We're all thinking of Kevin and his family here at Gate. Commencement is fast approaching. This year's celebration will take place on Sunday, May 16th at 10.30 a.m. Families and guests should plan to arrive early and as a group because seats are limited and reserving is not allowed. There will be other numerous facilities around campus where guests can watch the ceremony. Best of luck to our Gate Update seniors. Governor Charlie Crist of Florida is expected to announce that he will be changing his party affiliation in order to run for Florida's Senate seat in November as an independent. Chris, currently a Republican, encountered stiff competition from candidate Marco Rubio, also running as a Republican. Many attribute Chris's Chris loss of support among the Republican base to his support of President Obama's stimulus package last year. He will also be running against Democrat Kendrick Meek in the three-way race. Jan Brewer, governor of Arizona, signed a new immigration bill into law on Friday. The law requires that immigrants carry immigration documents and also gives law enforcement the ability to detain those they have reason to suspect might be illegal immigrants. Critics say this is an invasion of privacy and might lead to racial profiling. The law will go into effect in August, but legal challenges to the bill are already being proposed. The Center for Women's Studies, located in East Hall, is holding a study break on Wednesday, starting at 11.30 and lasting until 2.30. There will be food and activities, including rock band and board games, to help take your mind off of your studying. Tomorrow night, the Experimental Theatre Company will put on B-Sides, Rarities, and Space Nudities at 7 p.m. at the Bremer Theatre. The Theatre Company, which is made up of Colgate students of all ages, will perform 30 plays in 60 minutes and are sure to keep you laughing. If you can't make it tomorrow, no worries. There will be an encore performance on Saturday, same time and place. CollegeSwimming.com announced its mid-major All-America squad for the 2009-2010 season this past week. Colgate's Erica Durlath, Karen Guyatt, and Aaron McGraw all received national recognition from the organization. Head swim coach Stephen Youngbluth spoke the girls' praises when he heard the news, exclaiming how proud he was of all three of them and the team as a whole this past season. All three of the women were also named to the First League All-Patriot League by this past Friday. All three girls will be returning next season. Football star Pat Simons was given a chance to realize his dream to play in the NFL this weekend when he was contacted and contracted by the Philadelphia Eagles. While Simons was hoping to get drafted, he is satisfied with the opportunity to play. His teammate and good friend, Paul Mancuso, will also play in the National Football League next year for the Giants, which is close to his hometown in Westchester County. In a very brave move, Sandra Bullock has filed for divorce from her husband, Jesse James. She has also adopted a three and a half month old baby boy named Louis Bardo Bullock, who was born in New Orleans. Sandra has been in the process of adopting for four years and brought Louis home in January after the Oscars. She will now become a single parent. According to the Billboard charts, the cast of Glee took the number one spot this week with the release of the Power of Madonna compilation, selling nearly 100,000 copies. Justin Bieber's My World 2.0 was number two on the chart, selling 80,000 copies for the week. This is impressive for Glee, considering they also had the number one show in the country. Thank you for watching. For more on these and other stories, check out colgate.edu. Have a great summer and tune in next fall for Gate Update, where well, you're, you're always, always in the, the now. now.